Okay, hello all you people out there. This is Michael the Two and a Half Student, and welcome back to Pokemon White 2. So, in the last part, we just beat Marlin's gym, so we've got all eight gym badges in hand. Um, might as well go and explore this, um, this water of Shimao City a little bit, because there are a couple things that you can pick up off the ground, I believe. That thing, for one, it's a heart scale, that's nice. Which does remind me, by the end of this video, I do want to have a Arcanine Calvinone Extreme Speed heart scale over there. Um, so that's another one. I still don't have enough, uh, shards to teach a certain Zorark a certain Dark Pulse, unfortunately. Um, I'll probably get, if I don't have that by, uh, the Elite Four, I'll probably just go grind them off, like, Joint Avenue and stuff. Um, and Dust Claws and whatnot until I have enough of them. Anyway, that's a protein there. I want to say there's another easier way to, uh, get the shards in this game than just, like, going around and doing stuff, but I don't remember what it is. Alright, so... If I recall correctly, a couple of these houses have stuff in them. Um, no, I'm not picking up on anything there. Maybe. Maybe. I wonder what will happen if you talk to him after you beat the uh, champion. I've never done that. Um, let's see. I know for a fact that if you come over where I just was standing, this house, then you'll find this crazy old lady here. Uh, there is a thing, yes. And you can talk to her. And she'll ask you to walk through my food. And if you try to go out of your house, she'll just go and like yell at you. And if you walk with the mind food for long enough, when you go back to talk to her, then she'll say thank you and give you a pearl. I think you can do this once a day, you can sell the pearl for some money. Uh but yeah. Uh not worth the time in my opinion, just wanna show that. Now, excuse me, I think I'm being called away by someone. Okay, pretend there wasn't a rough cut there. Um, let's see, Get down the stairs. All right, having trouble with the bicycle and aiming where you want to go is one thing, but having trouble with the running shoes, uh, anyway, Florida is deep blue. To be fair, I'm, this DS is sitting on my desk at an awkward angle, but still. Now, uh, behind the gym there's something. I forget what it is. It's a shell bell, so that'll give you some HP back every time you deal damage out in battle. Um, yeah, I used to really like that battling, that item in competitive battling, but it's, uh, Calling out a favor to uh, items that normal people use, like the leftovers when it comes to HP recovery. In theory, the shell bell is a good idea, because if you could dish out a lot of damage, you'll be getting a lot of HP back in return, but... Um, yeah, most of the time... The leftovers would be more effective. Anyway, I need someone to fly in order to go back to the Pokemon World Tournament to get someone, uh... One of those fancy heart scale move relearner people thing. They'll say you move Pokemon, and the generic unpheasant that hasn't even been given a nickname. It's gonna replace who's gonna replace? I don't know who I replace. Lucario. Fair enough. Uh, I wonder uh, can Lucario learn anything good by like whatever um, move tutor or anything? I do not remember. I'll probably go and look that up on Bulbapedia after I finish recording this. Now let's see. Fly. All the way to the other side of Unova. Well, not really, now that they built the, uh... Aspersia and... Roots 19 and 20 and whatever. But... Yeah, let's see. Which does remind me, there's, um... There's actually a bunch of... Stuff around that part of the game where you need Surf to access. And I can do that now that I have Surf and all that, but... I'll probably do that before Victory Road 2. Let's see, Calvin, I want you to relearn something. What should you remember? You're going to remember extreme speed. And what's gonna go? Reversal's gonna go. That's another thing that's good in theory, but not so much in practice, because like you generally don't get down to that little amount of HP in game or anything. Uh, reversal is better for things like Hitmon Lee with like endure and unburden and stuff like that. Um let's see. We're gonna fly back to Humila now. Yeah, um, Endure, endure uh, the Unburden ability, the, what's the berry? The Leechy Berry to raise your attack when your uh, HP falls down that low and then like reversal. And then like, unless your opponent has priority, you're gonna just wreck everything. Yeah. It's one of my problems in RU is people like to do that set sometimes. And Absol has priority, but that priority is dark types, which doesn't do that much damage to a hit on Lee. Anyway, so one of these other houses you can get something in like the garbage can or something, but I don't feel like going and finding out. Yeah, 
I, I checked your garbage can before talking to you. You're the master Moo Turtle. Moo Tweeter. Moo Turtle. You know, I have six yellow shards. Or seven, I remember. I'm just gonna see. Kia Bell, Knockoff, Synthesis, Roost, Sky Attack, Roleplay, Heat Wave, Giga Drain, Drain Punch, Drain Punch, Lucario. I don't have enough yellow shards. Never mind. Don't mind me. Drain Punch is the only move in there I really like. I guess, uh, was there Tailwind in there? Tailwind can be good in, uh, like triples, doubles and triples, since it raises the speed of both, of both, well, all of your Pokemon on the field, but let's see, I don't want to go there. I like the design of the city. Did I say that before? I don't think I said that before. I like the, uh, it reminds me of, what is it, Pacific Log and Hoenn? With that, um, thing where the floating city kind of. Uh, I still need, do I still have Unpheasant? I still have Unpheasant, don't I? Yeah, I need to go get rid of that Unpheasant. So, um, I don't really want to be going through the game without, uh, what's an HM slave? Let's see. Yeah, I really don't like benching anyone for HMs if you haven't noticed that already when it comes to Pokemon. So that's why I generally throw them all on my in-game team, but fortunately the way my in-game team fell this time, I don't have anyone who can learn fly. Okay, so that's done. I've also uh, rearranged my team a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna mount the bicycle. As if I'm not having enough trouble already, like, navigating these boardwalk things, I'm just gonna mount the bicycle. Why I can... Okay, I can't go under there. So you know, I don't want to go there. Ooh, we actually made it. And now, finally, Route 22, you there! We battle! Okay. Wailord is... An interesting Pokemon to use in game. Um, probably better while I'm here. What TMs do I have, and what TMs can you learn? I do not seem to remember Warlord having the biggest moves by TMs. But whatever. Um, I also need a heal. So that's a super repel. That's not a healing item. Imagine if you could heal stuff with super repels. That would just that would just be weird. Um, yeah, sure, you can have the fresh water because you don't have that much total HP. Um, I thought I had Moomoo Moo Milk. Is that in another, uh, run of this game? Probably. Yeah, I don't have anything. Max Potion Berry Juice. Might as well uh, use that to top up Espeon. I think I got that Berry Juice from, uh, Join Avenue. Yeah, I started using Join Avenue for, uh, just trying to, like, get some stuff established there so I can uh, have more to show for it in-game later. Um, you know what? Let's blow a Hyper Potion. Probably shouldn't use the soda pop, save that to someone else. Anyway, let's see. My recording is already getting kind of long, but I know I haven't really done much in this video already. You have no idea how hard it was to just like hold that out for that long. Um, yeah, repels. Like, I haven't done that much in this video already. I don't know why my recording's at like 13 minutes. Um, oh, right, because I had to go and get distracted and do something else. That's right. Um, that was a machine. I feel like there should be something hidden around here. Yes, there is. It is in this corner thing. That is a Carbos. So another vitamin. Which I really can't use right now, which is a shame. Um, let's see. Yeah, something up here. Let's get off the bicycle. Hello. Water Spout is actually not doing badly here. I'm, I just might end up, uh, as I was saying, I can't go and get that item there because there's a ledge, I just might have ended up uh, PowerPoint maxing that water spout and just like, come on, something about water spout, finally, speaking of which, there's a PowerPoint up, so, uh, yeah, um, what is this, hello, I actually did, <laughs> I thought he was like a tree or something when I saw him. Colorus, what are you doing here? Mr. Cresselia Head. Yes, I think I know that. Maybe. Fine. Yeah, that's a Colorus machine. It's for like energizing Pokemon. I guess it's kind of interesting. It's, it's like it's really weird. Um, I don't know. After playing White Two for what, like a year and a half now, I still haven't made up my mind what I think about Chorus. Uh, 
He's just kind of like there. He's like a neutral part of you. Uh, I don't know. So let's see. That's an item down there. First, we're not. I was going to say, first I want to go see what the Dowsing Machine is uh, telling me that there is something, but... Repels don't do much when you're, like, under a level, do they? Yeah, yeah, Hiker. Anyway, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so I can... Yeah, why not? Because uh, Willer did girl level just there, and uh, Repel might be doing something now. That's a green shard. Fantastic, but I still don't have much of use for those. I need blue shards. Although, it's possible that, like, in the after game, I just go teach stuff uh, shard moves just because I can. Anyway, yeah. Just for uh, future reference. You there, what do you want? You're a breeder. Do you have, like, a blissy or something? Please, 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 please. Okay. Whatever. Let's see. So there's something to surf on here. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you, Waylord, Davidal, whatever I'm supposed to be calling you, I don't know. Nicknames, given names, I don't care. Let's see, nothing hidden there. That is behind the tree of calcium, so that's vitamins. And vitamins are good for your health, apparently. Good for your effort values, anyway. So, let's see. I wish there was like a ledge or something that you could just like jump off of. Um... I didn't mean to go there, but okay. Uh, I did see, yeah, you can come over here, talk to this, hopefully, okay, good, it's not another Amoongus or whatever, Poison Barb, that's for Poison Types, um, powering up Poison Type moves, I'm gonna be taking on Kabalion later, like, with the reg the rest of the, uh, Legendary Musketeer, whatever they're called now, Sacred Swordsman effort, I, I stopped keeping track of them, honestly, after, like, Kill you happened, oh my god, they need to make a Pokemon that just, like, literally, is a Pokeball. Because that would actually make sense to find hidden ore in the grass and stuff. And then you wouldn't need a Pokeball to catch it, you could just tell it to like get in your bag. Never mind, never even mind. Alright, it's a red shard there. Impels effect, yeah. It's actually starting to do stuff now that I've got a couple more levels for Railord. Backpacker! Hello. So Davidal finally went down. Yeah, you did well. You take out most of the trainers on this route on your own, Davidal. That's okay. Um, but who's who do I want to have lead off now? Just gonna move, go and uh, move those leftovers over to Shorty, so they're not going to waste there. Um, there's a couple more legend stuff you can walk around on this route before I'm gonna cut the video. I think. Firstly, so this guy has an Arcanine that comes out and just like decimates my team. Between Firefang and Extreme Speed, oh my god. Extreme Speed hits like a truck when you have a Pokemon that doesn't have defense. Anyway, uh, let's see, Dazzling Machine. It's a good thing I don't believe there are any more trainers on this route. Or else I would be in trouble. Yep, I can come over here and not fall off. Pick up a Max Potion. And I can use the power of video editing to come over here. Make it look like I just teleported or something. And over this carefully, because I know I'm going to fall. Okay, I didn't. And, let's see, over... No, uh, no Dazzle Machine going off? Wow, that's weird. I could swear there was something up here. Oh, a Hidden Grotto, duh. I am, uh, blind as a Zubat. More. Alright, so Autofocus is also as blind as a Zubat, apparently. What's this? This is a... Super Repel. Okay, so I know what to do with that. <clears throat> Thank you, Hidden Grotto. Yeah, why not? However, uh, this recording's been going on a while. Um... Not so much that there's been a lot of stuff in it, but it's just been going on a while, and I think I'll cut the video here. Um, not as much of a fan of long videos as I used to be anyway. So I hope you all enjoy that. Rate, comment, subscribe, watch more of the stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you later.